Okay, let's move on to the global stage. All eyes will soon be on Paris. The opening ceremony of the Olympics is two weeks from tomorrow. And among the storylines is cyber criminals looking at the Olympic Games as fertile ground for attacks. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman is here with the warnings. And what is the scope of these warnings? You know, they hit on a couple levels, both for individuals and all the infrastructure, Jessica. There is going to be so much money changing hands here. So many smartphones being used and so much focus on the games. It's no wonder cybersecurity companies here are gearing up to fight back in Paris. As athletes prepare for the games, Silicon Valley cybersecurity companies are preparing to protect them. Anytime you get a very large event that the entire world is focused on, you're going to have cyber attacks. They're also working to protect us. Anyone who so much as buys a ticket to an event, an Airbnb rental, or a piece of Olympic clothing. Everyone who tracks the game says Paris will be a target of cyber crooks. This is the world's most interconnected games ever, from payment systems to critical infrastructure, your highways, all your transportation systems, to the ticketing side, to the banking, right? And so with that, obviously that invites cyber criminals across the world. So how to protect the athletes, Paris, and your wallet? Lots of cybersecurity, including artificial intelligence, which some worry could be biased and inaccurate. But I think people are also concerned about the sort of real life surveillance. Cyber ethicist Irina Raiku says lots of security is needed, but so is a way to keep your data safe. Once an experiment like this happens with mass surveillance, did the AI tools work? as intended? Were they worth the cost? Were they used in the right circumstances and not in the kind of circumstances that people had feared? For example, if you're buying a ticket to an event or renting an Airbnb in Paris, the goal is to protect your passwords and credit card information from hackers while feeling confident that the AI used to search for cyber criminals doesn't track and keep your data at the same time. Jessica, we'll track this for you.